first load of counterweights just showed up for the crane. This is getting pretty exciting. One thing I thought I'd mention, if anyone ever needs any kind of heavy equipment moved across the country, this is the company you want to hire right here, CR Levesky Trucking. They take pride in their work. I had a great experience with them. They have a pretty cool Instagram too. Check them out at CR Levesky Trucking. They've got a lot of really cool videos of huge pieces of equipment that they move all the time. A crane just showed up to unload all these counterweights. Um, the, the main crane will be here in a couple hours, so we're just going to get these counterweights unloaded so this truck can leave. The crane's coming on three trucks today. This piece is called the counterweight tray. You actually stack all the counterweights on top of this piece and the crane spins around and picks it up hydraulically with those slots that I'm touching with my hand. This is one of the pieces that get bolted up to the back of the crane and then it will stay on the crane permanently while you're driving down the road. All right, it's 12.30. The uh, semi-truck with the crane should be here around 12.45. It's only about another 15 minutes. That's the first semi with the counterweight. We got that all unloaded. We've got a crane here that just unloaded that counterweight. So this rental crane came just to unload the counterweight off the first semi and then after we unload the grove from that trailer there's this other trailer behind the trailer called a jeep and i guess the jeep has to be set onto the semi trailer so the guy with the crane is sticking around because he has to load that jeep um so as soon as the crane gets here the first thing we'll have to do is unload the crane and then i guess load this Jeep onto a trailer. There's a bunch of people here right now. All right, so this oh, is- Oh, we're already, oh, already recording. Jesus. Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> this, oh. this is Bailey. He's the guy that drove the semi for the first counterweight. And then this is Jamie. He's the one who showed up with the crane to help unload the counterweight. And then once the Grove gets here, we're gonna take the Grove off the trailer and Jamie has to put this Jeep back on the trailer for Mickey. For Mickey. The guy hauling the Grove, his name is Mickey. And there's one other guy, what's his name? It's uh, Kyle. There's a, there's a third guy with a third semi hauling counterweight, but he's not getting here until now. tomorrow. See you later, Felipe. Love you. And this guy. And then this is Steve. <laughs> he used to run my national boom truck for me here and there, and Dave is hiding. And Aaron's over here too. We're all just waiting for the crane. I'll give you an update when it gets here. So Bailey and I are taking a ride to meet the Grove at the nearest intersection. So what do you want me to do? Yep, you're gonna drop me off. You're gonna bring Mickey down so we can take a peek at this intersection so he knows what he's working with, getting in with that uh, with that big of a setup. And then uh, you'll go and get your camera set up and you can get him rolling over the hill there. All right, I'm probably gonna have him come down here and unload the crane actually just right in the road because I guess this setup is a hundred and how many feet long? 125 feet. 125 foot long truck and trailer. So I don't think he'll be pulling that into my driveway. Nope, not at all. <laughs> 
Is he just going to be over this hill? Um, yeah, yep. He's going to be at the bottom um, where it meets with 12 right there. Right now? Um, in a couple minutes. Oh, okay. so, no, I just wanted to get down there before him because I need to block traffic so he can make that corner. So, got the car parked back here. We just walked down to the corner of the highway. And uh, this is actually a pretty good little bar right here. Supposedly, the semi truck with the crane is going to be coming down this road any second now. Oh, here he is. He's blocking traffic. Here it comes. The big grove. Oh, that looks awesome. Hopefully he makes this corner. Look at that. <laughs> now that's a rig. Wow. Well, he made that look easy. Yep. He's the best. He's awesome. Well, he'll get parked up. He'll ride with you. I'll hang with the truck and wait cool. for you guys to come back. We're about to meet Mickey here in a second. No. This is Mickey. He's the driver. He just came all the way here from Pennsylvania. That's a hell of a drive. Yep. Yeah, no, I lost the tire on the other side. Oh, right this here. is the tire that blew Not up? this one. It's just the other side. Tire on the other side blew yep. out. Yep. So here's the Grove. How long is this trailer set up? 121 feet, bumper to bumper. Wow. And how does it go going down the road? Perfect. Drives like a dream, huh? Uh, it does. <laughs> That's awesome. Just when you think you've got the biggest truck. <laughs> <laughs> so this is called the Jeep? No, this is actually a uh, Stinger. This is called the Stinger. The Jeep is up front. Oh, okay. So it, it pivots like 40 degrees there. Oh yeah, that folds up or something? Well, it doesn't fold up. We'll oh. Load it up. The pin unpins right here. We'll put it up here. Then the Jeep will put on the back and that 10 foot extension will go on this road. Sweet. Well, we're gonna go up the road here and we're gonna check out where we're gonna unload it. You wanna hop in with me? No, I'll just follow you up. Oh really? Yep, it's oh, okay. gotta get up there. Yeah, it does, okay. <laughs> Sounds good. I'm not afraid. He's not afraid. Sweet. Oh, it's cold out. First impressions of the new crane. It's two hours late. <laughs> Has anyone ever told you you're the happiest person they've ever met? <laughs> <laughs> hey Mickey. Yeah. What's the height on this trailer from the ground to the to the top? Yeah. I was 13.8 or 13.9 overall height. He was only 13 feet 9 inches. So right now, uh the crane is actually only 13.1. Oh, the suspension's down all the way. So that means that the crane, the crane must be less than 13 one then, huh? Um, cause they, yeah, with the, with the suspension dump, it depends oh. on your own height. Cause the suspension's dumped in this, it's, it's all the way down, but oh yeah, height, it's gotta be a different story. Oh yeah. Okay. So with the suspension down all the way, it's actually less than 13 feet, one inch, uh, which is kind of neat because right now he's at 13 feet nine inches going down the road so very neat where are these outrigger pads jamie all the same they're in one of the Why we set this thing up for you oh Can what put black on for you yeah oh since you get that chain off of the you got the other door locked 
Aaron, first impressions of the new crane. Unreal. Unreal, it's gonna be a game changer. <laughs> Unreal. What a piece. Don't scratch it, Jamie. What's that? I said, don't scratch it. So door release is right here. Okay. Right back here. It's kind of they kind of make them in a bad spot. Mine's down here. Yeah. You pull and you slide. So you this one. You gotta reach around because you can't do this. Oh, you I already pulled it, so you can't do that. So you just go like this. Pull it once on your way out before you get out. Click it. Yeah. Then you can be hands free, and then you can just close it. We're already learning things. Ooh. It's got Alcoa wheels. That's cool. I don't want it to end up looking like the Terex. <laughs> Oh well. <laughs> no, it won't. I, I probably won't even use it in the winter. What? It's too nice. Oh, I can't wait to see it run. Should we start it up now? Yeah. Oh, okay. These are out of self-folding trailers. You do realize there's one more chain on it still, right? Is there? Yeah. I thought he got it. There's the one on that side. Right there. It's hooked. Sheet. There's a chain hook to it still. That was fun. Thank you. Yeah, it's the snow package. Yeah. You like it? You like how that it looks? I guess it's better for like the, keeping the UV rays off of it and shit too. This looks a little sketchy right here. I don't know about that. The suspension on this thing is insane.
Really? Probably because it's so cold, huh? No, just the way I'm sitting on the trailer. It, it, it finds it's leveling, but when it came up, it was like this because the ass that would drop down more. Yeah. Probably just need to put it up and down a couple times, huh? No, it should be no, fine. It just needs to be leveled up. It just needs to be leveled up. No. The warmer's pulling it in. He's pulling it off the trailer. It's your responsibility now. Okay. <laughs> Well, it looks like he got it here in one piece. Thank you, Mickey. You bet you. The man. I appreciate it. I'll uh, get everything all. Yep. Uh, once you get in all your stuff, right in the main. Yep. Take it easier. Hold on, we'll figure it out. Sure. Oh, Mickey got the seat dirty already. Fucking Mickey. I'm gonna have to shampoo the seat now. It smells really good in here. It'll turn green when it's ready. See how it is or? Should I lit up a little? No, oh, you're good. There we go. Okay, I'm about to drive it in the oh. house. weights, plate weights, and I think the ball's in that wood crate. But we got skiing to do. <laughs> Let's go. Gotta use the knuckle boom crane to put the stick boom crane together. Unfortunately, I didn't get any great videos of us bolting up the permanent counterweights to the back of the grove. Um, we actually had to use the knuckle boom crane to lift the weights into place before we bolted them. Unfortunately, it was a pretty frustrating process because they brought the wrong length bolts so when we went to bolt it up it didn't work and then we had to wait a week or two before the right bolts came in into stock so i actually didn't even get to use the crane for a good two or three weeks from from the date that it got delivered after we got everything bolted up correctly we were able to finally go do our first job and it was a success i'm excited to share that video with you later on last two pictures here's a cool one of rocky standing by the crane for the first time it really puts it into perspective of how big those tires actually are and my friend dale madden even stopped by from madden's tree service he's been doing tree work since 1976 and i've known him since i was a little kid he thought the crane was pretty cool